Hey guys, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I put out a video, so I thought I'd just throw something together. Uh, this video is going to be how to get back into a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer that you've locked yourself out of. So for instance, if you forget your password or if you were to just lock your account uh, due to logging in too many times. This will show you how to get out of that to uh, unlock it again. I have an account called YouTube. And if we go into management, we can see that that's the only account that is enabled right now. The administrator and guest accounts are disabled, as is default in Windows 7. Uh, so this is the only account that's active right now. And what I've done is in Group Policy, I've gone into Windows Settings. and security settings, account policy, and account lockout policy. And I've set it so that if you have 10 invalid password attempts within 10 minutes, it will lock you out indefinitely. So if you set this to zero, account is locked until the administrator unlocks it. So what we're going to do is lock this account out. Now, this is the only account that is enabled on this computer right now. And my password is just the letter A, so I'll just uh, put in I'll put in a bunch of bad passwords and lock the account. Alright, so here's the account. It's locked out. And at this point, there is no way to log into this computer at all. There's only one account, and it is locked out. Uh, there's the reset password, but that only works if you've previously made a backup of your password. And I don't know if it can do unlock, but anyway, we're going to get around this. So the way we're going to do this is this little button down here. If you press that, it brings up the Ease of Access Center. And what we're going to do is kind of take advantage of that. So first I'm going to shut down the computer. And I'm going to put a... Oops. All right. Put a uh, an Ubuntu CD in the drive. So Ubuntu. All right. And then under System, I'm gonna, or General, I'm going to put it to Linux. And of course, you don't have to do this if it's a uh, a real PC you just put the CD and you don't have to change VMware settings but um virtual box settings so we're gonna boot off the CD and then just wait until we get to the Ubuntu desktop uh, hit try up here if it asks you and go to places um, find your hard drive in this middle section there'll be a bunch of uh, personal folders and then there's network in between there there will be your hard drive it might say OS or something but just find what is normally your C drive in your Windows computer then go to Windows go into system 32 this folder takes a while to load sometimes. Alright, and then find utilman.exec. U T I L M A N dot E X E. Alright, and you're going to rename that and put a 1 after it. Then you're going to find CMD, create a copy of it, and rename the copy to Utilman. So we have replaced Utilman with a copy of a command prompt. Alright, now you're going to restart. Or 
I'm going to shut down in this case because I have to change it back to Windows. Alright, and now we're back into Windows, so you click this button, opens up Command Prompt. Uh, I don't know why this is showing Administrator here, maybe it's just because my other account is disabled, but um, in this Command Prompt type C-O-M-P M-G-M-T dot M-S-C, and I'll put this in the description. Alright, and then you go into Local Users and Groups, Users, go into the Properties of your user account, and uncheck Account is Locked Out. Alright, and also you can right click it and hit Set Password and Proceed, and you can set your own password for this. So I will set the password to B, almost as secure as A, but hey whatever and look at that it logs in just fine alright so at this point what we have to do is we have to put it back the way it was because we don't want that huge security hole being left open so boot back into the Ubuntu boot CD and we're gonna go back into the computer and put things back the way they were and there are other ways to do this like you can do this through Windows but you can't mess with these files without screwing with the permissions so this is the way I would recommend putting them back Otherwise, you have to take ownership of them. They are not owned by a trusted installer anymore. And that's not good to do, I think. So we're going to delete utilman, or move to trash in this case, and then put the old one back, and then test it. Okay, and barring the fact that the YouTube account still is not showing up on the login screen. Uh, I'm not sure why that happens, but as we saw before, it is unlocked. This button goes back to being the Ease of Access Center. So we have unlocked the account and we have put everything back the way it was. So keep this in mind when you're, if you ever uh, lock yourself out of your computer or forget your password because this is the most reliable way I've found of resetting it and you can do it with any boot CD capable of editing the hard drive which is pretty much all of them so yeah thanks for watching see ya